don't follow SOP, you will be compound. Uh, uh, Minister of Health in the UK, uh, they call uh, Matt Hancock, didn't follow SOP, uh, he has to resign <laughs> from his job. He lost job, he lost uh, family, he lost everything. Uh, because even though he's smart, even though he is working for the country, but he didn't follow the ethics. Uh, so he is nothing. Uh, Islam really emphasizes on ethics. Uh, uh, now, that's why if you remember, when we celebrate, uh, we celebrate Maulidur Rasul, the Prophet has been sent to do the uh, to do the mercy. Uh, one of the mercy is to show us the the good akhlaq, kudwa uh, hasana, the good akhlaq role model for us to follow. Uh, that's why uh, ethics is very important. Uh, no ethics, no Islam. <laughs> even though you are kiai, even though you are professor, if you are no ethics, you are just no value. Okay, uh, ethics is number one. That's why. However, in order to be ethical, we have to follow. We have to follow the Sharia. In order to be accepted by Allah, we must have good aqidah. Uh, so how we can apply this concept into the organization? Uh, organization must have three. Uh, that's why if you study management, you know, they have uh, three. Uh, this one in the conventional, they said three elements in organization. Uh, you must have purpose. Uh, you must have people. You must have structure. Uh, this one, uh, three, but they are not talking about this. But I'm just showing you that in organization also, you need to have purpose. Akidah must be there. Number two, you must have people. Worship. Ibadah, you must be there. Number three, you must have the structure. Mean structure means the reporting, the SOP, the guideline. Uh, just I want you to relate now. Uh, you talk about Islam, how about uh, the non-Muslim? How can they apply this uh, framework? Uh, you can apply... Uh, in terms of akidah can be called direction, uh, vision, mission, uh, reason, you know, reason. Why you organize, why you establish your PT, your company, uh, must have the reason. And then you must have people, right? Uh, you must have people in your work. You cannot just, you know, you have to assign people, you have to brief them, you have to train them, and you have to provide them with the, with the task. And then, uh, don't forget, uh, you have to put that in the structure. Uh, you are manager, you are executive, you are uh, supervisor, you are workers. Uh, and then you have to report, uh, report, uh, report to each other. Uh, that's why you have to follow. You have to, you cannot jump. Uh, you cannot jump from worker to uh, CEO, cannot. You have to follow the, uh, the hierarchy. Uh, I said this is this is you know uh, a very bureaucratic. We not talking about bureaucratic. We talking about akhlak. Uh, say akhlak mean you have to respect the the what we'll call the process, the hierarchy. Uh, I'm just giving you. Sometimes people you know when I presented to a group of non-Muslim, they say we are non-Muslim. How to apply this? Uh, I say we have in management. Uh, we call the element of organization. So back to Muslim. Now why Muslim must know this? Uh, to appreciate where is the position of uh, Sharia, uh, where is the Sharia position in Islam? Basically, Sharia is about law, kanun. Uh, uh, what do you call in Indonesia? Indonesia call undang-undang. <laughs> what, what do you call? Yeah, maybe yeah, Pak Udin, undang-undang ya Pak Udin ya. Kanun, hukum. <laughs> Kanun, uh, it seems kanun applied in Aceh, Banda Aceh. Okay. Is it right, Paudin? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I have my cousin graduated as a law graduate from Indonesia. Uh, okay. He has SH. SH. I say, what is SH in your name? He said, Sarjana Hukum. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, he is lawyer, no? He's a lawyer. Yeah. Uh, so, oh, hukum, ah, uh, you call hukum, ah, uh, in your country, faculty yeah. hukum. <laughs> we pronounce it S H. <laughs> uh, oh, S H. <laughs> yeah. Uh, S H. Sarjana hukum. <laughs> Sarjana hukum. Uh, he is yes. a lawyer. Uh, he he's a lawyer, but not lawyer in uh, Java Island. He is my cousin 
is uh, in Kalimantan. Ah, oh, I see. State of Banjarmasin. Okay. Uh, so, uh, but study in study in uh, Jakarta, <laughs> but work in uh, Banjarmasin. <clears throat> so, hukum, eh? hukum, hukum uh, is we need hukum, we need law uh, because we have a call transaction. Uh, we have uh, activities. Uh, that's why you know we have buying, selling, right? Uh, <clears throat> like student, you have to go to the campus. You know you have to register your subject, and then you have to attend lectures. You have to fulfill the requirements. Uh, so this, you no, know, sometimes you want to change subject, you want to change lecturer. <laughs> you don't want this lecturer. You petition this lecturer. You don't want this. Uh, you have to follow. We call the transaction muamalat. Uh, Muamalat, not just uh, bank Muamalat, you know, not just uh, buy and selling. Anything to do with transaction, anything involve uh, parties, uh, Muamalat. In Muamalat, we need to have adab, manners. Uh, manners mean SOP. Uh, you cannot simply you go to the uh, do, uh, your dozen or you go to your your, your, your what call your dean. Uh, you say to the dean, I want to change my subject. Please change now. <laughs> you cannot do it like that. You have to write. You have to get the form. Write in the form, right? And then they process. Uh, and then uh, this will um, this will take times. Uh, so this is called adapt. Why we need to have uh, adapt? Uh, why we need to follow SOP? Because we wanted to. Uh, we wanted to make sure that. We will not harm others. Eh? We will not harm. Eh? We don't want to harm others. Mafasid. You know what? What happens if you don't follow adab? You don't follow the transaction. You will make Dr. Udin, Dr. Inda difficult. You know how? How do I know that you wanted to change subject? I don't know. Difficult on my side. I don't have records. If you go to the rector or the rector. I can't. I don't know because I have thousands of students. Can you see? If you don't follow the adab, the SOP, difficult. That's why Islam said we must have adab because adab can avoid mafasid or harm, harm difficulties. Uh, we wanted to be to have benefit. Benefit mean good lah. Uh, easy transaction, smooth running of operation. Uh, they know how many students still active. How many students? I uh, wanted to drop how many student uh, in Malaysia you no know? some student they don't want to study for one semester they go for absent uh, they could leave of absent for whatever reason lah uh. they sometimes they discover that uh, masyaallah this lecturer very difficult to understand uh, i stop i want to study next semester of course this we know you know we know our statistic our student uh, uh, like business so we know how customer so that's why Whatever law that that uh, that created uh, that Allah gave us, and also sometimes human created law, uh, hukum that human created, there are reason for that. Uh, there are, are hikmah or there are reason hikam. There also asbab. Uh, there, there are reason. Uh, the reason they explain. Uh, for example, like law in the country, they will go to the parliament. Uh, parliament will pass the law, and they debate in the parliament. Uh, debate mean they justify why. We want to pass this law. Why this law must be passed? For example, uh, Bapa President uh, issue decree for uh, lockdown. <laughs> lockdown. Why? Because uh, too many cases, and our hospital also congested. Uh, we don't have enough uh, uh, healthcare workers, you no, know, to treat to give treatment to people. So these are the. Uh, that, uh, the reason in the in the law. Of course, we are not in the law. <laughs> we are not faculty hukum. We are not hukum student. But we have to. Uh, we have to know the law. Right? In business, we 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 call this legal responsibility. Uh, to know law and to obey law is we call legal. Eh? Legal. Legal responsibility. Uh, legal. Uh, what do you call in Indonesia? We call here legal. Legal, huh? legal also, is it? <laughs> In English, it's called legal, legal responsibility. Uh, tanggungjawab hukum, is it? Tanggungjawab hukum in Indonesian language. Uh, we we must have tanggungjawab hukum. Uh, the first tanggungjawab economy. Uh, we must make profit. Is it? Is it called tanggungjawab hukum, Doctor Udin? 
legal, legal kewajiban hukum uh, hukum uh, that's why no in, hukum, in our law system british law in malaysia british law i don't know about the indonesian law in malaysia nobody can say that they are ignorant i don't know the law uh, in our court we cannot say sorry uh, uh, judge uh, i don't know about the law cannot no excuse to say no don't know about law in islam we can say i am a jahil <laughs> i am juhala i am jahil i don't know okay islam can accept jahil can accept but in british law cannot uh, they say everyone in the country every citizen must be a responsible citizen they must know law in the country uh, in malaysia we have our federal constitution from british yeah. We, we 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 follow british system and also in our rukun negara uh, we also have one uh, one principle uh, rule of law uh, mm. so rule of law i don't know your pancasila do we have that <laughs> yeah so everybody have high what is it law literate yeah prof yes yeah. law literate yeah. uh, must yeah. you cannot say it when you go into the the court uh, you cannot say to the judge uh, yeah I don't know. No, judge won't accept. They cannot because you are citizen. Uh, unless you are no citizen, you you are in the cave. <laughs> you are in the island. You 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 don't have any citizen. Okay, you don't. You are not. But if you are citizen, you have kartu tanda. Uh, then you cannot say I don't know. <laughs> kartu tanda, right? No? <laughs> All of you got kartu tanda, right? <laughs> kartu tanda. <laughs> I know because uh, we call IC in Malaysia. IC, uh, no, no, no. Oh. IC in English. Oh. IC mean ID card. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. KTP, kartu tanda penduduk. KTP, kartu tanda KTP. penduduk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, kartu tanda. <laughs> uh, uh, so this is because when you have the KTP, you have the legal responsibility. Uh, you cannot say that I don't know, sir. I don't know, judge. Cannot. Uh, this is. Uh, this this one is non islamic lah this one we call the the muamalat in different countries eh? different country have different muamalat but we have to respect that particular uh, particular uh, transaction all right uh, this one uh, the meaning of um, what is the meaning of benefit uh, so al ghazali is one of the scholars mentioned that benefit is about preservation of the ends of shah so the meaning is that we cannot allow uh, harm uh, or, or bad to happen uh, preserve mean you have to make sure that uh, the bad or shar will not happen uh, you cannot already happen is already too late uh, so we must anticipate don't create the bad from happen uh, so we muslim must always alert uh, must always alert must always anticipate do not get anything bad from happening uh, we must be anticipate we cannot wait until bad happen of course when happen we cannot do anything we have to correct but try not to to create the bad thing uh, in management we call uh, if you still remember in management concept i think ada ada all management You study management, right? <laughs> right? Study management. Maybe, maybe mitigation, yeah, Prof. Yeah. Yes, mitigation. Uh, we mitigation, okay. or we call in the control. Uh, in the control, we call fit, uh, fit forward. Oh. Control. Uh, you study management. That's the call fit forward. Uh, we have feedback at the end. Feedback after happen. Uh, fit forward before happen. Uh, you call fit forward control. Uh, so Islam is about that, you know. Uh, according to Agazali, maslaha must be. Uh, we must always anticipate, always apply fit forward control. Uh, fit forward control in Islam, and then, however, benefit in Islam is not as what human thoughts. Uh, we thinking this benefit for us, but in Islam it could be coincident. Uh, coincident. Consider no because like people say we have to do charity right after doing business then we do the charity charity is good right sadaqah is good 
you you ask everyone in the world, they will say yes. We love sadaqah. We love to give charity. It's good, right? Yeah, it is good. Uh, Muslim also thinking the same. Non-Muslim also thinking the same. Anyone thinking the same. Consider that good, right? Uh, but the good that you think is not the same meaning uh, from the maslaha good from Quran and Hadis. Uh, because the reason, the reason in the Quran is is to we wanted to I call we wanted to uh, secure goals and and values that has determined by the Sharia. Uh, for example, uh, we can rationalize no problem. Uh, we can why is that we Islam prohibited riba, uh, no uh, no riba, no no interest in uh, financial transaction uh, because you know uh, Allah already have the Quran ayat. And then we wanted to rationalize, you know, why Islam prohibit riba, and then we can from finance, mathematics, you now we, oh, because of the compounding interest, and then you will make people who borrow money becomes very difficult, you know, if they cannot borrow, and then you keep charging interest, at the end they become bankrupt. But bankrupt is bad, isn't it? Uh, that one is from rational. But again, in Islam, it's not just about bankrupt. It's about, remember, Human has has value, right? Dignity, right? Uh, you will be slave. You will be slave to the loan. You will be slave. Uh, you know what happened? Country that took IMF loan. What happened to the country? Uh, we talking about a human. If you took loan, you cannot pay. Uh, government will declare you bankrupt. You know what happened when you bankrupt in Malaysia? When you bankrupt, you are just like a useless human. <laughs> useless, you no? Know? Why useless? <laughs> You cannot go to university. You cannot open bank account. You cannot uh, get help. You cannot be witness. You cannot do this. You cannot do that. You cannot work. You cannot do. Masha Allah. <laughs> you are just useless once you are a bankrupt person. Uh, but, but in Malaysia, some people smart. They already bankrupt, but they use other people to be there. To be their proxy, they pay lah to the person. I pay you now. You open company uh, on my behalf, no? <laughs> oh. uh, that one is scam. That one is you no. Know, uh, we call syndicate. Now uh, we have many bankrupt people in Malaysia. They 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 use people who are naive. You are very ignorant. They don't have any knowledge or they need money. They are willing to to be the proxy of the bankrupt people because bankrupt people mean by definition you are useless. But don't commit suicide, no? <laughs> Useless, also don't commit suicide. Uh, but you have to do things until you have to pay all your loan and then you can apply back to the government. Please clear my name uh, that you are no longer bankrupt. Uh, difficult, no? Even you cannot get married <laughs> in Malaysia. Wow. In Malaysia, you cannot nikah if you are bankrupt. Uh, I, I mean nikah of uh, formal nikah, no? But if you go for informal nikah, you can, no problem. But the problem in Formanika, you cannot get the KTP. <laughs> your, your children that you give birth cannot get KTP, cannot get the birth certificate, everything. Uh, your, now your children becoming also another useless citizen. Now uh, that's the problem of the useless status. Uh, that's why in Islam, don't be bankrupt. Uh, uh, because loan, you know, is very, this one, riba is very evil. Uh, riba is evil. The greatest evil. Even the evil is is greater than having uh, uh, fornication with your own mother. Masha Allah, fornication or sex with mother already evil, right? But riba is higher than that, higher than having sex with your own mother. Uh, for 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 men, uh, having sex with your mother, for lady having sex with your father. Even that, you know, very very bad, right? You know, but this riba, you know, higher than that. Masha'Allah, very evil, riba. That's why, why riba is permitted behind the maslaha because riba is very, very evil to human life. Uh, no riba. No maizir. You know maizir? Gambling. Uh, no gambling. Why gambling? Gambling people don't believe in Allah. 
they don't believe in qada and qada they believe in the play game <laughs> they play card they play the numbers you no know? they are fortune uh, based on the fortune telling no my said and no number three, no uh, uh, no horror uh, no horror mean uncertainty sorry prof, sorry, yes. prof but uh, in malaysia you have genting highland with full yes full license they got casino. license <laughs> yeah, they got license <laughs> so oh. people make joke Uh, is it halal? Uh, uh, we can say not halal, but they got license. They are given license by the government. <laughs> From the government. Yeah. Oh, I see. But even even you run a casino without license, your casino is haram. <laughs> but if you got license, your casino is legitimate, <laughs> not halal. <laughs> legitimate. Not halal, yeah, but legitimate. <laughs> legitimate. <laughs> but they they say gambling is haram. But okay. gambling with license is legitimate. <laughs> uh, now we have uh, we have a lot of uh, gambling, uh, big gambling uh, center, Genting, uh, etc. Right? We have a lot. Uh, but you know, that one is another issue. But uh, that one is actually from Sharia. You cannot do that because you will create uh, a, a lazy society. Huh? Lazy society. Uh, so that's why if you think that. This is the way to get more money. You are wrong, actually. Of course, you can win right? a lot of money, right? Huh? Lottery, etc. You know, after that, what happened? Uh, you because the money that you generated not the halal way. You also spend very fast, very fast. You spend, you spend, spend, spend until you don't have money at all. Uh, and then after that, only once you win. After that, you keep losing. Uh, that's why whatever our thinking not necessarily correct. For example, now people say, why we don't recognize uh, other than male and female? <laughs> I'm not sure in Indonesia. But in Malaysia, there is a movement wanted the government to recognize other than male and female. I do not know what is other than male and female. Uh, Pak Odin, perhaps you have any idea other than male and female? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> LGBT. <laughs> To my knowledge, yeah. uh, that I learned only two. Allah also mentioned Quran only two, male and female. Uh, Zakir wa Unsa, uh, male and female only. <laughs> no other than male and female. But human using different logic. And they said, we have male, female, we have half male, we have half female, and then we have a combination of male and female. MashaAllah. <laughs> But we do have Unsa. In Islam, we do have Unsa. But khulsa is not by medic, you know, it's not by your own choice, right? And the khulsa is Allah created you to be khulsa. But that one, it's not that we recognize them as having both gender. Uh, but we uh, we also, uh, the scholars say, they also need to look at what is the inclination biologically. Uh, biologically, they have to check what actually you are more dominant. Are you more a male or you are more female? Uh, we cannot simply say, I want to have both. Uh, because, you know, I don't want to quarrel with people. I want to have both. <laughs> cannot. <laughs> you cannot. Even my logic, you know, I want to be peaceful. I want to have two genders in me. I, uh, I don't want to get married. I don't want to get married male and female. Oh, boring, huh? male and female, boring. I want to marry men and men. Woman and woman. That's what Dr. Indah said, the LGBTQ, right? No? LGBTQ. Uh, Malaysia government already clearly said we don't recognize LGBTQ. Uh, no, no such thing in our country. Uh, even though the world, some some of the world, they recognize this, but we don't recognize. Eh? We don't recognize the third gender and whatnot. Uh, so because we are very clear about that, uh, so that's why we have to understand. Eh? Sharia is about to bring goodness to people. Okay, these are the classification. Uh, uh, you don't have to worry because this is this is for those who study Sharia. Uh, I, I just want you to to give an idea how actually the people in the Sharia uh, advise other people to make decision. But in case you are alone, you know you don't have you want to make decision very fast. You cannot get ustaz or pak kiai to advise you. Because you no, know, like emergency uh, decision, uh, so it takes time, you no, know, to make ustaz and now ustaz also need to understand. Ustaz also, pak uh, kia also, they don't have knowledge about your business. It takes time. So, so what you have to understand, uh, syariah maslaha benefit can be 
divide into different categories. Number one, the straightforward one. Halal and haram, clear. What is halal? What is accepted? Uh, what is uh, accepted? It's already clear. Halal and haram already clear. Riba is haram. Alcohol is haram. Uh, Prodication is haram. No more, uh, no more debate about that anymore. <laughs> that one straightforward. Uh, uh, however, uh, some people say, you no, know, okay, uh, alcohol is haram. Yes. Uh, Quran also mentioned that alcohol has more. Uh, Alcohol has some benefit, but more uh, bad, uh, more harm. Uh, but sometimes people say, can we use alcohol in our medic or in our preservation of food? Uh, then we have to look at to the next, to the next uh, construction. We have to look at from the, what is the purpose? What is the purpose of that particular proposal? You want to use the alcohol for what? Uh, if you use alcohol for diarrhea, Let's say you know you wanted to put alcohol into medicine because if you don't put into medicine, the medicine becoming um, the medicine is very important. If without this medicine, people will die. Uh, but you need to put alcohol into the medicine so that the medicine can be preserved long time. Okay, we call diarrhea because medicine is to is diarrhea is to save life of people. Okay, you are allowed to use a, that particular alcohol into the medicine. Uh, this one we call diarrhea. But they say, can we, if without uh, alcohol, is it okay? It's still okay? And uh, then no need. Uh, that's they call into the hajat. Hajat is no longer uh, top priority. Yeah? Uh, without this, without alcohol also okay, no problem. Uh, but with alcohol, will be better. Uh, will be better we call tahsiniyat. This is the level. But no, for you, ada ada, you know, don't be headache. You know? <laughs> I'm just giving you, uh, I, I don't want you to be headache, you know. This one is not our area. I also know my area. I'm not a Sharia professor also. <laughs> uh, and, and also, general interest. Uh, interest, you know, for example, to uh, to build bridge. Uh, to build bridge or to put uh, fence in our campus. Uh, uh, Is it is it that particular interest to food break? Is it very clear? Is it very clear? For example, you put fence in order to safeguard, but you there there's no there is no incident, but you just wanted to make it happen to build the fence in your area. Uh, you have to look at here. Is it uh, based on probability zoning, or is it based on definitive? Uh, what do you mean? You're already sure. If you put this, it can prevent. Uh, Future, not now. Future, future hardship. Uh, that one uh, we, we 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 call maslaha amma. Uh, this this so can be considered as maslaha amma uh, when it come to the general uh, we call to specific interest. But individual interest, so we call private interest maslaha sa. For example, very simple. You are a rich man. You have a lot of money. You have a lot of property. But you became insane. <laughs> you became person of insane. You cannot think anymore. Uh, so what happened? No, you, we have to protect this person. Even though that is his money, but we have to protect him. Or another simple example: if you see people uh, walking without clothes on the street. So what happened if you see people walking without clothes on the street? Uh, adik adik, what are you going, what are you going to do? Took video, <laughs> giving him clothes. Ah, uh, quickly, quickly give clothes. <laughs> yeah, but not for you, but for for him, for him or for her. Ah, uh, they call private interest. Mm -hmm. Masa khasa of the person. Ah, uh, but don't be the the bad one. Ah, uh, uh, okay, see people without clothes, <laughs> and then live. Uh, this one <laughs> evil. <laughs> yeah, uh, evil. Yeah. Don't do. evil. Don't don't publish. Some people they love to publish. You know, people without clothes on the street. Uh, don't do like that. Huh? Uh, even that is nothing to do with you, right? But he has exposed himself to the public without clothes. That can create chaos. Uh, why people could accident? <laughs> people uh, see the person accident. Uh, that one. You create problem, yeah. right? You create problem yeah. to the 
uh, people who are driving see people without clothes they cannot concentrate on driving <laughs> but even that is the the person interest to protect the person but we have to uh, we have to uh, also people with uh, crazy like president already crazy <laughs> we have to uh, the vice president need to take over don't allow the person to, because he can be dangerous he can make the people in the hardship uh, so that's why uh, but this one you know don't apply to the president <laughs> to the country but people working without clothes yeah you can apply quickly uh, so we have to look at the situation as well uh, country level uh, we we need the scholars you know, to to come in uh, we have in malaysia so last time uh, the sultan or uh, the sultan I mean they already very very sick you know uh, so the the government has to take action uh, so the government declared this sultan is already uh, not fit no? is not fit to be sultan uh, so the sultan still alive eh? the sultan still alive at that time uh, so the government appointed the son the prince to be the sultan while the father still alive uh, many people are unhappy and why that you know normally in malaysia after the sultan pass away then only you appoint the prince to be the sultan but now the sultan still alive who are you point they said medically the sultan already unfit uh, unfit mean cannot think cannot talk you know cannot walk basically just bedridden uh, the sultan cannot function uh, so that one require of course that one you cannot be just one person decision they have to do the shura shura mean council of the scholars they meet and then they look at the medical from economy social everything and then they make decision uh, in order not to humiliate the sultan masbaha is the sultan and also the public interest uh, for the public interest and the sultan interest we don't want to humiliate you know to shame the sultan and at the same time we don't want to make the people uh, to be the bad so they decided to to remove the sultan from the throne and replace with the prince to be the sultan it happened twice another one also happened the sultan is sick and also appoint the prince to be the the sultan so in malaysia we apply mapasi uh, in 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 the throne you know in the leadership and so forth uh, so clearly you know but but that one you cannot use individual lah huh? but but this i'm talking about as manager if you see your workers uh, doing something bad you no know, you have to immediately stop that from happening uh, don't wait nah huh? ask the Pak Kiai, Pak Kiai, what do you think about these workers? <laughs> no, uh, for that one, immediate, uh, immediate, we call emergency, immediate action, cannot wait anymore. Uh, don't wait until, uh, don't wait Pak Kiai uh, to give a fatwa, what to do with these workers. These workers now put fire in the factory, should, what should I do? <laughs> Because very, very, very clear, right? No? If you lit fire, you know what happened? Explosion, right? Uh, don't wait, Ustaz, to come and give fatwa. <laughs> Quickly, stop that person. Uh, that's why he called definite, uh, very clear. Uh, that's why I also apply uh, Shariah in that sense. Uh, after that, you can do postmortem, mortem right? Whether you you done the correct way, then after that you do what I call in the controlling uh, management. Uh, you will do SOP uh, for that particular incident. In management, we do we always have we call postmortem, eh? or we have the evaluation. Okay, just I want to uh, recap. Uh, normally, what we do, you know, we only focus it on this. Yeah? The purpose only, makasit. Uh, purpose is makasit. Daruriyat, hajiyat, and tasiniyat. Uh, what is essential daruriyat? Uh, what is complementary is we call hajiyat. What is uh, betterment is we call the tasin. Tasin means you make it better. Uh, uh, we need a house. A house with roof, with uh, wall, window and door and then you need to have the what called water uh, etc right and that one is uh, uh, fundamental uh, how about uh, having to paint the house uh, to paint the house is not daruriyat <laughs> to paint the house mm. is not daruriyat huh? or to put uh, down light down light is further not you know that one down light you can have light okay but put down light or colorful light and that what is tasinia uh, that's why for the poor people we need to provide shelter uh, shelter is essential right shelter 
Shelter, what does shelter mean? Roof. You have a roof. You have the body of the house. And then inside you have the, the, the what called the washroom. Uh, you have door, windows. Enough already. Uh, no hmm. need to paint. No need to put plaster ceiling. No need to put ornament on it. Uh, because that one can avoid from wind, raining from the sun, right? <laughs> okay, done. Right? They call Darul Riyadh. But some people say, not nice now. Nah? Why we have to put some plaster? Okay, that's why it's called hajat. Why? Because if you don't do plaster, later on, the wall will be uh, will be uh, easily have hole. Because strong wind can make hole. Okay, then we put that, that particular cement so that the, the, the wall can be protected. So we call hajat. That's in here, the extra. Yeah. For example, is it is it necessary for a house to have a fence? Uh, if you don't have fence, people can come and kill you. Uh, it's become the real to have a fence. Is it auto gate, automatic fence? That one has in yet already. <laughs> automatic, <laughs> why? Lazy lah to go and you know, open and all. That one, if you auto gate, it's already has in yet. Uh, it's luxury already. Uh, some people, they they, they are using IoT. <laughs> IoT, you know, Internet of Things, right? Uh, they are using handphone, you know, to open the door using handphone. <laughs> uh, that one has already already. No need. Huh? Uh, so, if how to apply Makasya Sharia into ethical decision making? I, I think uh, Pak Udin uh, and, and, and all adik-adik might be familiar with this uh, decision making process. Uh, so, just to recap. So number one, you identify the problem, right? What is the problem? And then uh, what issues involved? And then who will be impacted? Uh, who are the stakeholders? And then what could be the alternative uh, alternative uh, decision that, uh, that you can make? And then that particular alternative, you have to wave with other stakeholders. Uh, uh, in in uh, general, I think we look at the consequences or duty or or whatever lah, huh? this in the in the in the in the, uh, in the conventional. But what happened now in our apply Tawhidi and Makasi is that here, uh, here, the values that you will be using will be, uh, you will be using this value. Huh? Uh, you will be using this Makasi. Uh, so what are you going to do now? Uh, this way we, we call in conventional. They have what we call the code, right? We have code. Uh, are you familiar with the code? In organization, we don't call law. Uh, we call code. Code of ethics, code of conduct, code of professionalism. Code, you know? Uh, and then after code, code is a law. Uh, country, we call law. Uh, for company, we don't call law. <laughs> we call code. Uh, because code is not... Is not uh, it's only applicable to your company, uh, to your organization, not applicable to other company. Or for professional, apply to that particular professional. Uh, for accountants, engineers, uh, financial managers, uh, they have codes developed by their uh, professional bodies. Uh, so they have codes. So this code, uh, this code that you're going to create, you can, uh, you can have, uh, you can create the code based on Makasit Asharia. So you can define uh, what is good, what is bad. Uh, you can define uh, with your with your uh, like committee. Uh, you can have the committee, and then after code, and then you need to do every day, right? Uh, after code, then you have your. Uh, this is the the the, the, norm, the current term now. People actually SOP is not new, huh? So SOP already in the in the management world many 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 centuries already, but because of the pandemic. Uh, a lot of uh, term uh, people use SOP. Uh, you have to follow this strictly, uh, the process, the procedures, etc. Huh? That's why we call standard applicable to all, uh, but here applicable to the entire members in the organization. Uh, okay, uh, and then not only at the decision, but also you have the how to implement it. Uh, you also have at the monitoring. Uh, because this, when you monitor, you have to be careful yeah? because uh, if you are not careful in the monitoring, uh, you could have invading you know, on the privacy. Uh, I'm not sure whether in Indonesia you have uh, confidential and privacy of human beings. Do you have Dr. Udin? 
privacy of individuals. <coughs> in Malaysia, we call the private uh, data protection, uh, PDP in Malaysia. Mm. I mean to say that... Uh, same, Prof. Same, eh? <coughs> if you have your information, right, your name, your gender, your address, etc., right? Uh, this one only meant for the organization. You cannot give to others. You cannot mm. disclose to other people. All right? Uh, but in Malaysia, becoming business, you know, some people, they they sold information of the bank customer to the scammers. Uh, so like me also, I'm wondering, you know, how come you get to know my handphone number? I didn't give you my handphone number. Uh, they said, uh, we got from the bank. <laughs> same from some of the case in Indonesia. Like oh, same, huh? <laughs> yes. I said, hey, when did I give you? I don't know your company. I never know you. Uh, where do you get my phone number? Because this is not this is my handphone number. I only give to my 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 university and also bank. Oh, we got from the bank. Bank sold the information to us, <laughs> and then we reported to the police. And yeah, they they they, they have arrested uh, the bank's officer. No, bank officers actually mm. you know, are not ethical. Sold, they sold the customer information to the scammers. Now I put on every day, scammers call. Alhamdulillah, I, I install a fraud detector here. Any number that not familiar to me, the number will say fraud. <laughs> oh. I'm not sure whether you have that. Do you have the software in your handphone? We call what is fraud. the name of the software? I, I don't know. You can Google. Uh, you can yeah. find your Google Play. Uh, they call fraud. Fraud. Uh, fraud. Okay. Fraud, eh? fraud. Uh, anything fraud lah. Uh, fraud lah. Eh? F-R- Try to search. Uh, F R U D. Yeah. So I I I put this after people advise me. Alhamdulillah. Now I don't have to answer the scammers anymore. Mm. Uh, but sometimes the scammer also they don't do their homework. You know, sometimes they call. Uh, they say that uh, we we you have uh, you have outstanding you have areas with this um, uh, income tax office. Uh, and then they didn't use the correct name. They used a uh, wrong name. <laughs> I said, this is wrong. The name of the company is not like that. Uh, the company name is like this. And then say, sometimes they say, you have uh, traffic summoned in that particular province. Oh, I said, I've never been there. To, to be bad, you know, some people, they call that you have a uh, traffic summon. That person don't even have a car. <laughs> that person don't, e don't even have a car. Then they say, uh, on 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 what earth? No, I get a traffic summon when I don't have any car. I don't have I don't have a car. I don't have driving license, but I got traffic summon. Uh, they don't they don't do homework. No scammer. No, they just do by by chance. Uh, so many people got panic. They follow the instruction. They pay a lot. You know, even uh, professors also uh, because they panic. You know, they play with panic. <laughs> they panic. They just follow the instruction. You pay this bank, that bank. Yeah. Uh, some some professor they pay in Malaysia ringgit hundred thousand one hundred thousand ringgit paid <laughs> to to settle the summon. So PDP that's why PDP becoming very important. That right? can you use CCTV to monitor your workers? Uh, you have to be clear, no? You have to inform them. My workers, we install CCTV. Uh, if you put CCTV in your faculty, you have to inform everybody that there is CCTV. And the purpose of CCTV is for public surveillance. Uh, you cannot put CCTV in the in the private area, uh, like washroom. You cannot. Uh, don't uh, uh, even though some people. And what happen if there there will be uh, some crime in the washroom? Uh, washroom cannot put even though potential crime will be there, but that one cannot because you no, know, that can be abused by people. They might use uh, have what happened in in the in the washroom to be viral, you know, uh, that one will be dangerous. Uh, so how to determine the riyat? Uh, these are the, uh, the five items, uh, to protect religion, to protect life, to protect progeny, intellect, and wealth. Uh, this one is Islam. Uh, why is that? Just now we can put a little bit alcohol into the medicine because medicine to, to save life. Some people say in vaccine there is a non uh, halal uh, element, pox inside. They say, uh, what? Why the purpose of vaccine? The vaccine to cure, right? To cure from the deadly virus. Also, also from the to protect uh, life. Uh, 
But right now, why people cannot perform Hajj now? Uh, two years already, right? Uh, the world cannot perform Hajj. Why? Because to protect the, the life of people. Uh, the life of people is very more important. If no people, there will be no religion. <laughs> if all people die, the religion also cannot be there. Uh, that's why uh, they're using this uh, what called the decision. Uh, just now, why is that you wanted to... Uh, why is that you, you wanted to save the life of the employees? Uh, because if we put fire, uh, the entire the employee will get hurt. The company also will get hurt because it will be burnt to fire and then you will create loss, right? Uh, you also need to protect them, the wealth of the, of the company. Uh, okay, and then beside this, we also have other detailed one. Uh, these are the maxims that people use in, in Makosik to, uh, for example, uh, you cannot just judge the book by cover, uh, like we have, right? Do judge, but judge people by the cover cannot. In Islam, we have to know why do do why why you do that. We have to ask why do that. Uh, I do that because I want to save life. Different, right? Uh, something crime, but for the sake of doing, uh, could be uh, could be uh, lessen uh, the punishment. You cannot use something bad to combat another bad. You cannot. Uh, you cannot kill other people. You cannot uh, save others in, uh, by killing other people. You cannot. Uh, to save people, uh, kill this person. I cannot. Uh, so we cannot eliminate. Uh, for example, you have your place is flooded. You put the water in other people's place. Uh, let's say you know, your province is flooded. You know, pump the water to another province. <laughs> Let other <laughs> province flooded. <laughs> cannot. Uh, that one is bad. Uh, certainty is not ruled by doubt. Uh, if you already yakin, so, hey, yakin, certain, okay, no more question. And hardship, we get facility. This is a rosa. For example, like something uh, difficult, it can uh, reduce. For example, if you travel, you can reduce from fr uh, five times a day. Uh, you can have jamak pasa, right? Uh, like Zohor, uh, yeah. Asar, Maghrib, you can shorten. Uh, you cannot shorten subuh. <laughs> <laughs> subuh only two cannot be one. <laughs> Become one. <laughs> you know, four, four, three, you can. Uh, you can reduce. Uh, but you don't reduce Maghreb also. Maghreb three cannot be one and a half. <laughs> one half. <laughs> don't, don't follow our brain. Huh? <laughs> don't follow our brain. You follow the Sharia. Custom is the best of judgment. Uh, this one based on uh, what we call uh, Orof. Orof means the context. If the practice of the people in the area like this, uh, then and nothing to not against the Sharia, and then we follow. For example, like uh, for example, certain custom, uh, they uh, when you have the guests, they will attend the guests with a lot of food with this. Uh, nothing against Islam, right? Okay, uh, okay, we can allow that from from, from practice, huh? customary, uh, customary law. Uh, so, for example, here in day to day. Uh, for example, now in pandemic, uh, should we borrow money or we should uh, ask for money from others? <laughs> borrow money, we have a cost, right? A loan, right? If we ask money, invest, also good, but uh, so how? Uh, so we have to look at what is the what is the maslaha and what is the uh, mafasid, uh, what is the harm and what is the benefit? Or perhaps uh, now in Malaysia, we have one issue. Uh, put a, a, a white flag in front of our house if we don't have food. Uh, some people say better make dua uh, instead of uh, putting flag, make dua. But again, dua is is one, but we also have to make effort. Uh, effort, whatever lah. If you are, uh, but don't uh, kill yourself. Uh, in Malaysia, we have many choices here when it come to borrow money. Uh, you can borrow money from the bank, uh, from the cooperative bank, from the agro bank, uh, even from the international bank or micro credit, uh, uh, micro credit, or this one uh, from the loan shark. Uh, which one you can? This one very fast, no document. <laughs> but these are the very difficult. You have to follow the document. Uh, this one, but what is important? Save your life, save your life, and also save your property. Uh, uh, so, so we can apply. Uh, we can ask ourselves if you borrow money, what will be? Is it is it really we need the money to borrow? Uh, can we get from the investment? What will be the risk? Uh, what is the custom of borrow money in your area? Uh, is it something that practice and good? We have uh, a good oral, a good custom in your area. Uh, so we have to check also that. 
Uh, so by combining, we learn uh, in the past Tahidik, Mangkosi Syariah. So it can help us on this value base. Okay, uh, that's why I said our topic that I share with all of you uh, uh, is about value base. Uh, is it this value? Can we use other values? No problem. In uh, I'm 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 offering you a value from uh, Tahidik and Makosidik value. <laughs> if you want to follow uh, conventional value from the Plato, Socrates, etc., no problem because we are given the choice. But like, from academic point of view, we are offering you. This we call the alternative views. Alternative views, alternative insight from the business ethics. Wallahu alam. Uh, so, uh, if you have any question, you can always ask. And with that, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Professor Suhaimi, for the referring the topic, Makasih Syariah. Uh, Uh, generally, maybe the, the focus of Makasih Sharia is to, pro, uh, to protect the benefit for individual maybe and for the community as well. And it's a very interesting uh, quote from uh, Imam Ghazali, the, uh, the best scholar of Muslim. He said, uh, Makasih Sharia The objective of Makasit Sharia is to promote well-being of all mankind, which lies in safeguarding their faith, maybe uh, uh, din, their life, hidul nafs, their mind, hidul akal, and their posterity, hidul nasl, and the last one, their properties, hidul mal. There are five pillars. Of Makasih Syariah, and uh, for any any participant, any students, maybe you have any question, you can raise your hand or you can put your uh, question on the chat. Any students? Raise hand. Yes, Adi Usin. Okay, Mas Ade, Mas Profesor Suami, Mas, <laughs> eh, Mas and Ba for uh, for mail. Brother and sister, we can use them. Mas and female ba, gitu. Ba, ba and for female ba and for male mas. Oh mas. Mas Azam. Oh mas Azam. Yes, mas Azam. Yes. Mas Azam, raise hand. Okay, thank you, bro. Actually, I use uh, to divide open your camera, uh, my phone Mas Azam. and my laptop. So, yes, I have opened my camera, but in my laptop. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. Already seen. Oh, you have Thank two. Thank you. <laughs> I joined with two devices. Oh, sorry. devices. Yes, yeah, because uh, <laughs> I want to use the background. Oh. Uh, so, uh. In my uh, what uh, pengalaman apa ya so, experience. Uh, experience. experience in my experience uh, I learned that uh, we we don't just we don't uh, understand about the law because our tradition not uh, not give not uh, uh, not to not apa ya. Tidak mengharuskan kita untuk belajar uh, hukum itu. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so, uh, because of that, uh, we don't know about the law. We just mm. uh, we just know uh, about the law, maybe a little. Mm -hmm. And 
the people who know the law is just uh, uh, the student of the law. Is it? <laughs> like that. So in my question is, uh, what should what what should we do to know the law? Uh, to know the uh, regular regulation. regulation. Yeah, regulation to understand about uh, business about the. Uh, economic and others. So when when we uh, go to the business, we can understand about about that and uh, and not uh, terjebak. Oh, terjebak. Yeah, I don't, and we don't trap with uh, people who understand about the law. So maybe just that. Oh yeah. Uh, for business student, uh, yeah, we have a package. Uh, we 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 have a courses on management, finance, marketing, and also law, uh, business law, uh, business law, uh, and commercial law in Malaysia. Uh, that is the Malaysian uh, business education uh, context. Uh, because uh, in 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 uh, Malaysia. Uh, a business cannot uh, function without law. Right? We have uh, the commercial and company law. Uh, so uh, we call this a public. Yeah? We call the public or we call the civil law. Yeah? Civil mean for the country. Uh, when it comes to the Islamic law, uh, in Malaysia is we call the private law. Uh, law for the, for the Muslim only. Uh, not applicable to uh, other non-Muslim. So, why we need to? Uh, we of course now one of the way is that we have to learn. Uh, uh, we have to attend uh, law classes. Uh, even though we only have uh, commercial and company law or business law in Malaysia, uh, this law is not enough actually. Uh, of course, we are not going to be uh, lawyer. You know, <laughs> not asking to be lawyer, but uh, we need to know law because to if easy for us to do our transaction and also to do business uh, even though you, you even though you don't know about uh, business but if you work uh, if you work even though you work on your own uh, on your own land eh, becoming a farmer you have to know about the land law you have to know about the inc the tax you no know, the land tax you have to know about the transaction law or customary law in the area so by doing that of course uh, the law said you cannot say you don't know. <laughs> the law, you, you cannot say you don't know. And becoming what you call the citizen responsibility. Uh, as a citizen, you have to go and uh, acquire the law. Uh, for example, before doing anything, you have to approach to the authority. Uh, one thing uh, a responsible citizen can do, before you do anything, you need to consult. Uh, you need to ask. Uh, for example, you want to do Farming, right? Uh, don't just go and take the equipment and then dig the, the, the land. <laughs> you have to go and ask the, uh, the what call the Pak Lurah. You call Pak Lurah, right? <laughs> Your area? Yeah. Pak Lurah, uh, yes. I want to be a farmer. How? Can you tell me how to be a farmer? Uh, the Pak Lurah will tell you, number one, do this. Number two, number three, number three. And then oh, you have to attend this, call that, call, etc. I want to be a farmer on my land. Yes, <laughs> this land is me. I want to just grow because you now we have law in our country. Uh, uh, just to share with you, you know, I'm not sure about Indonesia. In Australia, uh, they already developed the, the thinking to all children because they already taught them in the school. We have to, we have to know the law. And if you don't know, we have to ask. Uh, they already given that skill to the kids. So uh, in general, Australian, uh, all Australian, uh, whether they are poor, whether they are educated, no, they have a general education that before they do anything, they will ask. Uh, they don't know what to do. They go to the local council, uh, district office. They ask, I want to do this. What is your advice? Uh, or they don't have job. They go to the government office. They ask. Can you uh, advise me? I don't have a job. What should I do? Should I work? Should I do business? Should I do this? Because this also we call 
the civic, uh, the civil responsibility. Uh, so, so my advice to you, uh, ask people if you don't know. In Islam, pas alu ala zikr. Yeah, don't go there, right? Pas ala zikr. In kuntum ta'lamu. If you don't know, ask. Uh, that is the first skill. Uh, but, you know, uh, since uh, uh, Mas Azam, you know, university student, uh, you already have the tertiary education. So, uh, you will hunger for knowledge. You will continue to learn within your ability to learn about uh, basically what are the law if you want to do this, to do that. For example, you don't study income tax law. I also don't study income tax law, <laughs> but I'm working. I need to know uh, what is the obligation for worker like me when it comes to income tax. Uh, so, and then I don't know also about about uh, local council law, for uh, example. But I live in the local council, the province, like you, you have a call, you have your province, right? You have your uh, Wali Kota, etc. Right? Uh, then you have to ask your, your bu, 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 Kabupaten, right? <laughs> uh, you have your Kabupaten, right? Provincial uh, head, right? No? Kabupaten, and then you have your Bupati, right? Uh, Bupati. Yes. Is it you call Bupati? Bupati Kabupaten. Bupati me what? Bupati is in it? the level of Kabupaten Pro. Kabupati in the in Kabup Pro, Yes. Kabupaten. Bupati, yes. Ah. In province, Gubernur. Oh, Gubernur. Uh, for the Kabupaten, we call Bupati. Bupati. <laughs> uh, so you have to ask them. Uh, you have to go and uh, go to the uh, Bupati office and ask Bupati about, you know, uh, I want to do this, what is your advice? You, you cannot just you cannot just do as you wish yeah, because now we are living in the community uh, when you live in the community we have a call uh, in in the ethic we call uh, the social responsibility uh, social responsibility uh, and what is under social responsibility legal responsibility uh, in order to be good society you have to know the law the law can be the law uh, the, the the kanun the hukum and also the customary. Uh, for example, like you have Aceh, right? Aceh, they have their own law. The Minangs, they have their own uh, customary law. Uh, this one I know because, because I know in Malaysia, we have the Minang Kabaus. You know? the, the, the Minangs people, they have the Minangs law. They call uh, Pepatih. Uh, they call Adat Pepatih. Uh, and then, uh, you you cannot simply go to the Minang area, Minang area you know like that. You know? <laughs> if you want to build a house in the in the Minang uh, area, you have to see the uh, you have to see the what they call, they call uh, the the head village or Toompak. Uh, they call here in Malaysia Toompak. You see Toompak, Obupati. I want to I want to live in this area. What is your advice to me? Uh, you have to do this this etc. But our country has law. Yes, our country has law. But our local also has uh, that uh, customary law. Okay, but, uh, Mas Azam. <laughs> uh, that is the responsibility as citizen. Eh? No choice. Eh? No choice to, to have freedom. <laughs> Thank you, Prof. Thank you, Prof. Maybe, You're welcome. Uh, I think it's very different between Malaysia and Indonesia. Because in, in Indonesia, yeah, as a people, as, as a society in Indonesia, we can say, I can understand about the law. <laughs> but in Malaysia, everyone I cannot <laughs> say that. But we, you have Pancasila, right, as the main, right? The main, uh, the foundation of yes, the law, right? right? <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, this Ma Afifa, eh? uh, Ma Afifa. Mas Azam, thank you. And the next one? Secret company. Many secret company. While well, most Indonesian are Muslim, what do you think about who work in a secret company? Halal haram. Secret can, yes. Yeah. In Malaysia also we have secret company. In Malaysia also we have uh, we have alcohol company. <laughs> uh, so not just in Malaysia. In Malaysia we have just now, Dr. Indah asked how about the Genting, uh, the gambling, the number one gambling company. 
So I've been advice? there, bro. Yeah. I've been there twice. <laughs> uh, many people also ask me, can I work in printing uh, company as a clerk, as a secretary guard, you know, as supplier, as vendor? Uh, uh, in Islam, very clear. Yeah, for Muslim, nah, but in general, for the citizen, no problem. General citizen have no problem as long as it is legitimate. Yeah, Doctor Inda, it is legitimate. <laughs> okay, no problem. But the problem is when it is illegitimate, illegal <laughs> gambling, <laughs> illegal factory. Uh, but for Muslim, another step. Uh, so Islam say any value change, any supply change to the alcohol. To the secret, to the gambling, uh, 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 haram. <laughs> But people say, how about the money that you collected from the gambling, from the alcohol, for the secret? Uh, the the scholars or in debate in Malaysia, I'm not sure in Malaysia. They say uh, we, you know, because the money collected as a whole, as a country. Uh, so when we work in the country, the money already, already. Uh, Put as one lump sum of the collection in what we call revenue of the country. Uh, in that context, that is not the duty of the individual to question whether the money that I receive is haram, because I don't involve in the value change of the factory or the gambling or the secret company or this. With I don't involve. I only work as a lecturer, as a common officer. I receive money from my employer. My employer pay me salary. He got money from, but he got money from, from gambling etc. That is not for the individual Muslim in this country to question uh, that they halal or haram. Uh, but if you're directly involved, uh, this is what you know our scholar said. Uh, it is uh, haram. Uh, it's haram. But we don't have other job. <laughs> we don't have other job. That's the only job near to our place. Uh, We have to make effort. <laughs> Our scholars say, we have to make effort. If the place that you live, you only have the secret company, uh, no other other job, and you should hijrah. <laughs> you should go to other place. But if left, uh, if no other choice, but it is uh, death, uh, life and death, uh, it's about your life. You work just for that. But you, at the same time, we must we must try. Similarly, those who work in the banks. Those who work in the in the ribak company also, uh, we advise them to find other job. Yeah, because haram is haram. Uh, we cannot justify. Uh, can we say it is halal? <laughs> because I don't I don't serve the secret. I don't serve the alcohol. I only work behind as a clerk, as a accountant only. Uh, also, you are in the value chain. If you understand management and business, right? Because value chain mean A to Z. Uh, if you without A, the company can operate. Uh, me to say you don't support. But if you there as X Y Z there, and then you are part of the chain. You need you also what you call you also have the share of the haram. Your income is haram. Your your daily is haram. But again, uh, in Islam, even that is haram. But we have to look at what is our context. Yeah. Uh, but try not to what you call not try to. Avoid, uh, avoid working from there. Okay, and even not only that, if people ask you to remove your hijab, you are wearing hijab, but they say even to work in my company, uh, mas, uh, mba, uh, remove your hijab. You have to wear skirt. Uh, so what will be your decision? Uh, in that context, which one is you know your decision will be between religion, right? Uh, Himzu adin, uh, religion. And uh, to earn money, uh, for if is death is about life, you know, life and death. If you don't work, and then you'll be hungry, and you work with the direct contact mean just for temporary. Uh, but if your other alternative, go for that other alternative. Don't work as waitresses or etc. That because you are not protecting your religion. Uh, for Muslim, you. You have to wear your for for mbak, right? You have to Muslim mbak. You have to wear your hijab. Uh, there, there are many people uh, say to us, uh, but you no, know, my employer said that's dress code, dress code, you know, <laughs> dress code. Uh, you have a choice, uh, but you have a choice. If you think that 
you can repent later on after you already old but we are not sure whether we can we have the time to be old uh, with the current situation we are not sure okay i hope can uh, and as a mba fifa another one is from mba right mba novia yeah mba uh, novia say if you want to do business in a place where the country prohibits and age workers uh, there are many under children if you don't hire them they will be in the sing in the street uh, yes uh, this one is law uh, we cannot uh, we cannot go against the law uh, and the age is it is prohibited by the law muslim must respect the law we cannot this we call uli amri uh, in islam ati allah ati wa rasul wa ulil amri minkum uh, you have to the the sign of obey allah and rasul is also obey the the pemerintah uh, pemerintah of the land uh, doesn't matter where is the land uh, whether the land is muslim land or no muslim land it the pemerintah said uh, cannot cannot but what to do with those children in the street so what we call we have to do we call collective uh, social responsibility csr uh, corporate social responsibility or the community responsibility we do what we call uh, charity uh, we can uh, we can provide you know uh, charity to these children but these children are supposed to go for education uh, they are not supposed to back and so to to be the pamin uh, like we call pamin right, uh, we used to have this last time singer in Malaysia aku yang dulu bukan aku yang sekarang <laughs> uh, akan itu is there mengamin ah uh, so mengamin atau amin ah mengamin in your language uh, nagging uh, right dapur recommend and then dapur <laughs> first time he enter the studio to record uh, i can't remember who is there uh. very popular in malaysia last time he also yes went, uh, <laughs> uh, about pamin ah uh, he said you know last time he has to go to the street and then to back after that people uh, point uh, gave him a uh, what called chance to be a singer mm-hmm. so he had no money uh, no nah, i'm not sure what happened to him now <laughs> so uh, children cannot work uh, because we cannot ask children to work that is the duty of the the society to to give education to the children uh, if the family uh, need them to work because you know what the family also will be Uh, will be hungry uh, they're becoming the responsibility of the society yeah, to to help uh, but of course for them they have no choice they have to work because otherwise uh, they will be but the company you know the company who realize that they are uh, they is but they need the work what the company can do is to to be to be the csr uh, to provide uh, charity uh, i have my student my phd student did uh, research on the social responsibility of a company Uh, he did his case study in bandung uh, what happened in bandung that a group of uh, businesses in bandung because they they see crime eh, among the youth and also under age what they did they this business they they created a center uh, for these children to study and also they can come up with something creative like art uh, painting or some craft and then this company uh will be selling that uh the craft and then these people will get the benefit but not as a worker no they doing that as their hobby uh not no but because they know not no uh, some of them they know about craft some of them they know about painting some of them they know but at the same time they provide them with education and uh, this like the hobby right you like to do painting you know you paint and then what what this com- this company did you know they frame Your painting might not be beautiful, no, very ugly, right? You paint, <laughs> but they frame, they make it like uh, high value. They sell in the social media, and they can get a lot of sale. Uh, just like uh, I, I came to know recently, one uh, young lady in London, she lost job. What she did uh, while uh, very sad, she collected uh, waste thing from the Thames River in the London. And then she put on the card, you know? and then she put card, and then the, she uh, she make a greeting card, and then she mm. sold in the social media. And now she can get a lot of card every day, four thousand card <laughs> she can sell from the from 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 her creative creativity. Uh, this one my student did in Bandung, but I I I didn't have the chance to go and 
and you know see the project because we supposed to come and and check his work you know in Bandung but due to COVID-19 uh, we couldn't uh, this one uh, example uh, uh, about, you know, what happened in Indonesia uh, a group of companies realize uh, they see the beggars they see the disadvantaged people among the children and of course they don't employ them because they're illegal what they did they get them into a charity and they themselves create the charity home and they fund the charity home and then they educate them and then they come up with and then uh, they have hobby and then what they just observe what other and then they turn their hobby into uh, something that can be sold to the public for charitable sale alhamdulillah uh, that's the an effort uh, but our ma and our mas can do uh, if you see uh, people who are poor you can do what cause this way called, this way called social enterprise uh, social enterprise project so uh, if you need uh, the what call the example or in your place i can uh, uh, i can uh, what call uh, list you with uh, my my student uh, in in uh, bandung you know uh, uh, phd student he, he already finished his phd now waiting for the viva uh, alhamdulillah when i read his report no his thesis mashallah <laughs> i i couldn't you know i couldn't stop reading you know very you know even though many pages but you know as if you no know, i am i put myself in the bandung area <laughs> i think you know bandung right i'm not sure whether i, I never been to bandung don't ask me <laughs> we only have malaysia uh, we only have me bandung in malaysia <laughs> me bandung sirak bandung <laughs> okay Is it answering your question, Ma? Eh, don't hire children, ah, to be your workers. <laughs> Unethical. <laughs> But we should help the children. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Is there any question? Ya, Namaskar, Mba Novia. Mas and Ba, is there any question? Okay, if there is no question, I think time is enough, Professor Saimi. Um, Dr. Indah, any comment? Um, I just, uh, I, I just like to say thank you to Professor Dr. Suhaimi for sharing your knowledge to our student, to us, Prof. Welcome. Thank you very much. And hopefully we can strengthen our collaboration in the future. Inshallah. Yeah. Stay safe and stay healthy, Professor Suhaimi, Dr. Udin, and all of uh, our beloved students. Uh, we hope that uh, we can meet in another agenda, Prof, in the future. Inshallah. Thank you very Inshallah. much. Okay. <laughs> also, Dr. Udin, I want to add uh, for everyone before this um, lecture is end, I want you all to open your camera and oh, yeah. take, take picture. a picture. We will take a picture first. For... Okay, let's uh, everyone open your camera. All of you. All of you, open your camera, and we will take a picture. Dihitung, Mbak Sani. Oke. Okay. Ada lagi yang mau buka kamera? Silahkan. Mbak Restu, Arlinda. Ya. Thank you, adik-adik. Thank you, adik-adik, for joining this, uh, this guest lecture. Okay, I will start to take the picture. One, two, three, okay, wait. Hussein keren sekali, udah pakai topi toga. <laughs> okay, and again, one, two, three. Okay, thank you very much.
Thank, thank you, adik-adik. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you Dr. Thank you Suhaimi, much, Professor, uh, Professor Suhaimi. Suhaimi. <clears throat> May Allah bless you, Amen. add your knowledge and uh, <clears throat> Uh, Allah bless you and have your knowledge to be the best, to be successful in this dunya and in the heaven after. Thank you very much for everyone, all of the students. Thank you for your participation. See you next time. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Prof. Thank you, sir. Mbak Sani, thank you for supporting this lecture. Audin. Makasih ya Pak Udin. Iya Bu. Ya Bu. Teman-teman jangan lupa tugasnya ya. <laughs> Tugas sama Ibu. Bu. Oh, ada Bu Nurjana. Bu Nurjana, matur nuwun sudah hadir, sudah bergabung. Oh iya ya, ada Bu Nurjana. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Saya izin labs. Iya. Oke, makasih ya. Oke, Mbak. Oke, Bu.